Prologue. A Roman centron walked up to Jesus Christ as he was hanging on the cross and thrusted his spear against his skin. The moment the blood of Jesus dripped on the spear, it became infused with some of his divine power and energy. The Roman centron longitis did not realize the spear would become an immeasurable weapon with immense power that would later be called the Spear of Destiny. For generations, people have been searching for the spear in order to use its power to accomplish their own sick goals by any means necessary. At one point, during the generations that followed, the Knights Templar, an organization composed of a group of Christian warriors for God, found the Spear of Destiny located in Jerusalem during the Crusades. They were able to gain wealth and significant influence before they were falsely accused of worshipping Satan and burned to the stake for the crimes they did not commit. As a result, the legendary Spear of Destiny was once again lost to the world. But it suddenly reappeared in the year 1930 when a young Adolf Hitler discovered it in Austria-Hungary. He would then go on to attempt to use the Spear's power and influence to rule Europe and impose his Third Reich. But the spear found him unworthy of its immense power, and as a result, the spear was lost to him. As World War II continued to rage on, the Allied forces invaded Germany and discovered the spear in one of Hitler's hideouts. Hitler knew the war was over because of the spear rejecting him, so he chose to commit suicide. The Allied forces realized the power of the spear of destiny was too great to be controlled by one person or by a group of people. So, they split the Spear of Destiny into three pieces and scattered them throughout the world. They hoped the Spear would never again be united, for whoever controls the Spear of Destiny controls the world.